Another challenge for the Green Hornet. His aide, Cato, and their rolling arsenal, the Black Beauty. On police records, a wanted criminal. The Green Hornet is really Britt Reed, owner publisher of the Daily Sentinel. His dual identity known only to his secretary and to the district attorney. And now, to protect the rights and lives of decent citizens, rides the Green Hornet. Scully is here. Oh, show him in. Come on in, Dan. Thank you. Thanks for coming, Dan. Have a seat. You said the other day you weren't happy at the Express. That's right, and I'm with a managing editor like Sabrina. How would you like to come back to work for the Sentinel? You mean that? As of right now, you're on the payroll. Your first assignment is to work with me on Simon Neal's murder. Murder? That's right, Dan, murder. But you were the one who Green Hornet tried to kill last night. Take my word for it. I was just a decoy. Simon Neal was the intended victim all along. But why? The guy was a silly old fool, but he was harmless enough. Now, who'd want him dead? That's what I want you to help me find out. <sighs> what about Sabrina Bradley? You tell me. Well, there's been talk around the office that Neal was going to dump her, bring in a new managing editor, some big shop from New York. Check it out, Dan. See if there's any truth to it. Okay. What about Melissa Neal? She ought to know whether her uncle was going to marry Sabrina. Uh, she might. I'll have a talk with her. Uncle Simon was going to marry Sabrina Bradley. That's right. No, Mr. Reed, he was not. You're sure? He told me so himself. I know what people thought of him, but he wasn't as foolish as he seemed. He knew he was just the top rung on the ladder as far as Sabrina was concerned. Now that the Daily Express is mine, I'm going to pull that ladder right out from under her. Daily Sentinel, uh, Mr. Reed, please. Hello? Uh, this is Felix Garth speaking. May I talk to Mr. Reed, please? Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Reed isn't in. Oh, I see. Well, uh, perhaps I could leave a message. Yes, of course. Yes, I'll see that he gets it. Thank you very much. Mr. Reed's residence. Cato, let me speak to Mr. Reed, please. He's not here. I'll have him call you when... I'm here, Cato. Wait a minute. Here he is now. Miss Case. Mm. Yes, Miss Case? You had a call a few moments ago from Felix Garth. Felix Garth? Now, what would the society columnist of the Daily Express want with me? Well, I don't know, but he said it was important, and he asked if you could come to his apartment at 11 tonight. What's his address? He lives at the Shelton Arms on Clybourne Boulevard. Okay, thanks, Miss Case. Dan, did you want something? Uh, no, I uh, just came by to see Mr. Reed. I'll come back later. All right. 
Do you still want to use the black duty tonight? Yes. I have an appointment at 11. But that still gives us time to pay a visit to Sabrina Bradley. few minutes, Henry. Yes, ma'am. Which one, Miss Bradley? What do you mean? Am I the real Green Hornet? Or the imposter you created to attack the Daily Sentinel, then kill Simon Neal? I don't know what you mean. I've heard differently. I don't like to be accused of crimes I haven't committed. So I'm warning you. You and your partner better stop playing games. Put your hands up. Keep them up and don't try any tricks. <laughs> Off the streets, Cato. Head for home. I'll change clothes and go see Felix Garth. Right. any questions. Did you tell anyone I was going to see Felix Garth tonight? No. Think. Are you sure? I'm positive. Well, somebody found out. I can't imagine how. I phoned you right away. Wait a minute. After I put the phone down and turned around, he was standing in the doorway. Who? Well, he could have been listening and heard the message. Who? Dan Scully. Scully? Thanks. You think Felix? 
Felix Goth was murdered because he was going to tell you that Dan Scully was the fake Green Hornet. I can't think of any other reason he'd want to talk to me. Well, if he's going to sell the information, why didn't you just go to somebody in his own newspaper? Because he only had two potential customers for his information on the Daily Express. Sabrina Bradley and Melissa Neal. Ah, and he suspected that one of them was behind Scully. Garth was no fool. He must have known that Scully wasn't working alone. Dan Scully had nothing to gain by killing Simon Neal. Melissa Neal, Sabrina Bradley. Who do you think it is? There's only one way I know of to find out for sure. How? Smoke out Dan Scully. Make him play the Green Hornet just one last time. Did you invite me here today just to watch you watch the pretty girls go by? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> you have to admit they are distracting. Well, maybe if you forced yourself, you could tell me what you wish to talk about. Felix Garth. What about him? Just before I found his body, I saw you leaving his apartment building. Don't try to deny it. Why didn't you tell the police? I thought I'd give you a chance to explain first. How considerate. What were you doing there? All right, I'll tell you. I went to ask him if he knew anything about the car Simon was having made for the press club's masquerade ball this year. What car? You knew Simon. You knew how much he loved parties. He'd go to any expense to enjoy himself. Well, for the masquerade this year, he was going to go as the Green Hornet. He even had a limousine customized to look like the Green Hornet's car. Look, I saw the plans and the sketches for the job. It was done by the man who was killed the other night, Joe Kellogg. Go on. Last night, I found out it wasn't the real Green Hornet who killed Simon. It was somebody who was using the car Simon had made. I thought Felix might know something about it. Why, Garth? He was an awful snoop. I thought he might have seen the sketches for the car. Did he? I don't know. I didn't talk to him. He didn't answer the door, so I left. Who else could have known that Simon was having a car customized? Only one other person. Melissa. Waiter. Would you bring a phone to the table, please? Who are you going to call? Melissa. Why? I want to ask if I can see her this evening. After what you told me, I think I know who killed Simon and why. Britt, be careful. Well, thank you, Sabrina. I didn't know you cared. But I do. And I'd like to help, if you'd let me. Perhaps you can. We just relax. This won't take long.
So far, so good, Kato. to force her off the road. Melissa, dear, we won't keep you waiting much longer. She knows about us, Dan. We have to get rid of her, too. We'll take her out to where you forced for... You're not Dan. No. Where is he? He's dead. What's going on? What are you doing here? Where's Britt Reed? Reed? He's the only reason I'm here. He asked me to keep Melissa in communicado while he led Dan Scully into a police trap. He must have been the one driving the convertible. Yes. I'm afraid I took the matter of disposing of Dan Scully out of his hands. The police. Reed must have called them. I believe that's yours. If you'll excuse me, I have to be going. Hello, this is Sabrina Bradley. Give me the city desk. Hello, Sam. Sabrina Bradley. I have a story for you. No, no, forget. Rewrite. You take it. All right. Are you ready? Here goes. Uh, uh, 
Sam. Sam, forget the whole thing. Nobody in the world would believe it. Of course, Scanlon won't talk for publication before the trial. But he says, off the record, he's got Melissa cold. She was so shook up by Dan Scully's death, she signed a full confession. So she was lying when she said her uncle was going to marry Sabrina Bradley, huh? Sure, she knew it all the time. And she had to get rid of Uncle Simon before he married Sabrina, or else dear little Melissa was out in the cold. So when she saw the green hornet car he was having fixed up for the press club masquerade ball, she and Dan Scully got very busy. You know, when you come right down to it, the food in this place is pretty lousy. Mm, I can tell. And the prices they charge, it's out and out robbery. Well, as long as the boss is picking up the check. That's not the point, it's the principle of the thing. And you come here two or three times a week, Sometimes four or five. I don't get it. Why? What's the big attraction? What do you see in this place? 